lot of kinetic energy. And when brakes are applied to slow a vehicle down, all that kinetic energy must go somewhere. In a conventional internal combustion engine vehicle, braking is simply braking. The kinetic energy used to stop the vehicle is transferred into heat because of the friction between the brake pad and discs. This kinetic energy now is lost. In an electric vehicle, it's different. All electric vehicles use a system called regenerative braking to overcome the loss of kinetic energy. And in simple terms, this acts as an energy recovery and storage system. Electric vehicles are all automatics. So, when you use the accelerator, all you are doing is putting electricity into the motor, which in turn drives the vehicle's wheels. As soon as you lift off that accelerator, you are no longer putting electricity into the motor, but the motor is still spinning because it's directly connected to your vehicle's wheels. Now, instead of using electricity to drive the vehicle, it starts to generate electricity back, effectively turning into a dynamo. So, the vehicle is transferring kinetic energy going forward into electricity back into the battery pack. For illustration purposes only, let's look at the VW ID3. Other makes and models on the market today will have something like this. On the vehicle's dashboard, the blue line represents power being used and the green line represents power being harvested back into the battery. So, when the vehicle accelerates and the speed increases, this is shown on the blue line. Regenerative braking is taking place as soon as the driver starts to slow down. The vehicle will naturally come to a very slow speed or stop without the use of the vehicle's brakes. By using this regenerative braking function, the amount of regenerative braking can be adjusted on most vehicles to suit driving style. Always refer to your vehicle's handbook to fully appreciate the regenerative braking levels on your vehicle. And it's especially important to understand how your vehicle will react in icy conditions.